Welcome to Drawing from Nature with Pamela Duffus. Lesson three, drawing trees. To begin, look at the trees around you. It's really important to go outside and observe what you see. Are the trees tall and thin? Are they short and round? Do they have sharp branches? Do the leaves go up? Do the leaves point down? Take a look at the bark of the tree. What kind of patterns and textures do you see in the bark? Sketching trees is a lot of fun. You can really play with your pencil to create so many different textures. Start by practicing developing your barks. Look at the bark of the tree and see if you can figure out how to use the side and the tip of your pencil to create those textures and patterns. As you're drawing your bark and developing your different patterns, remember anything goes here. Just be consistent with each tree. In addition to the bark, you can identify the crown of the tree, the leaves, the branches, and the trunk. Now to start drawing these trees, my suggestion is to make a light box. Look at the tree, is the tree tall and thin, or is it more square? Make a box that the tree would fit into. Then lightly make a mark and draw the outline of where the crown of the tree would be. You can also draw an outline of where the trunk would be. This is just a guideline. This is not your final tree. Once you have your basic outline, you can start filling in the texture. Here I'm starting with the bark on the trunk. I'm using one of my textures and creating patterns as I shade the trunk, paying attention to lights and darks to make my tree look three-dimensional. Now I'm moving on to the leaves. I'm creating a pattern with the side of my pencil that represents the leaves that I'm looking at. I'm not drawing every single leaf. I'm just representing what I see and the basic idea of the lights and the darks as the leaves, leaves overlap each other. Once I get the basic shape and textures of my leaves in, I go back in and I darken some areas. If you look at the crown of a tree, you will notice that the areas where the leaves are clumped together and are thicker, they'll be darker. You'll also notice where the sun might shine through some. You may also see sky in between some of the leaves. That negative space that the sky creates is really important to make your tree look more realistic. 
So don't shade everything in the same value. Make sure you have some variety in the values. my second tree, I looked at a different tree. I looked at a weeping cherry. So first I identify the shape. How big is the crown compared to the trunk? And then I looked at the direction of those leaves. How do they curve? How do they go? Do they point up or do they point down? In this case, the weeping cherry branches curve down. tree I drew a cypress tree. These trees are very tall and slender. They have very little trunk that actually shows. For this tree, I stayed consistent with my textures to create my branches and my branches point up. I also built value, especially on the right side of my tree, because the light was coming to the left side of my tree, so I made the right side a little darker. two trees created by Aaron and Lizzie. Notice how they have their own unique way of using their pencil and creating texture. Thank you for watching. To view more of my videos, visit my YouTube channel.